Hey guys, my book's so today. Um, this video is going to tell you how or show you how to change the housing on the BlackBerry Curve 9320. Now, I'm assuming people, by people looking at this video, that you've seen other tutorials out there, and I've actually seen them, I've seen them too, but um, to be honest with you guys, um, none of them were actually clear enough for me to understand what was happening. Um, but today, I'm going to show you this video. It's going to be in HD, as you can see already. Um, you might know that already. Uh, it's going to be in HD and it's going to be clear, so, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to change on the device. Um, it's going to be a full housing replacement, actually. Um, because if I just show you the device now, it's a 9360, um, it's going to be, I might keep it for me, but I might sell it at the same time. I'm not sure. As you know, I have a 9320, but let me just show you what some of the things that it has on it. Uh, as you can see, it looks new, but the thing is, it doesn't actually function properly, like, it doesn't actually, like, kind of moderate properly. As you can see, there's a bit of uh, fingerprint marks and there's a bit of... Uh, scratches on the screen, if I just put that like that, you can see a bit of scratches on the screen um, general, general use of scratches, but not too much of a big difference there um, At the back of the device, uh, you can see sort of a chip kind of, i just show you, if I just bring that in zoom and if I just like, bring that backwards, you can see a bit of a kind of a little chip end there which may affect the selling um, selling price of the device which which I don't like really I want to like sell it at a, re a reasonable cost really um, at the back there's a bit of scratches but not too minor uh, not too major scratches there but uh, at the end of the day this button here is not working due to something in the housing on the actual thing but this button is, is working but you have to press it down really hard but this one's like really easy in right hand but that's why I'm actually going to change the housing I'm going to make everything work the buttons on the front are a bit dodgy like I had to press this button to get it down this button this bit here I want to press equal I want everybody to be equal that's what I'm going to do today and I'm going to show you how to do it today so just please stay uh, just watch this video so the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to use this screwdriver I'm not sure I think it's a Torx screwdriver yeah the Torx screwdriver um, probably you think T5 uh, screwdriver there um, as you can see it has that nice torx look to it and I'm going to use it when I lift the housing I'm going to use it I'm going to use do it using this okay um, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the battery out which I've already did done actually um, so I'm just going to bring the camera down uh, and I will go I am going to take this battery cover off I just Attempt, oops, I attempt to do that. Oh, it's not, it's not that way. I'm so stupid. Okay, you take the battery cover off, and you want to take out the screw out here, the screw out here, and that's all basically um, how to remove the first part of the housing. So you just take these, unscrew these bits here. So I'm gonna do that now using the screw. So I'm just gonna lay my housing there. Okay, so. I don't want to like mess everything up, you understand? Like sometimes I mess up and I get all the dents and scratches and everything. So, second one now. Used to actually using. I'm going to leave negative feedback because that, uh, that seller sent me a, a stupid screwdriver already. So, I'm going to use my traditional screwdriver to take this baby apart. <laughs> So one screw out, you put it to the side. I'm gonna take this out, oh, sorry. Let me undo this one properly now. If I get a chance to. Okay, that's gonna automatically come out, I'm guessing. But anyway now what you do is you wanna just like this just do not. You wanna like take out this thing, this the front lens. So you can just use your hand, you don't need a really a pry tool for this. Um, and you have to unclip let me just see, you have to pull this back, this thing here, you have to pull it back and then you have to push it like that, it's like you're pushing the device forward. But not too hard, you don't want to break the actual device, if you know what I'm trying to say. Um, I'm a bit scared when doing this, um, because I'm scared if I actually break the device, not actually repairing it, but yeah. So have to be confident in yourself and just take it apart. Anyway, this is, I don't really care if it breaks because this is actually my used one. And now what's going to happen is I will be... Un will I be unscrewing this? Wait, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. Um, I will be yeah, I'll be unscrewing these things to take this out. I think this cost clips off as well. Does it clip off? Yeah, it does clip off. Um so I'm gonna unclip these things here. So sorry about that guys. Just unclip these clips here, as you can see. There's clips on the actual housing, I don't know if you can see that. Actually no one can see that. I'll show you. Yeah, these are clips on the housing. And you and I have to remove these clips here. Um 
to actually disassemble the device. So, I'm doing that now. Sorry, guys, my lighting position is really bad. But please don't leave negative feedback for that. So I should use my Pry Tool. Oops. No one ever uses Pry Tools. That's what I think. But that's why all my housing might be failing. I just broke it off. I'm joking. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So now what we want to do is just unscrew it. Just bring it on top, on top like that. So you can see better lighting. You have to unscrew these two screws here. So there's one here and there's one here. You have to unscrew. Okay, so let's go do that now. You need to have very patience. Like, even though I'm doing this video, I have to stop it at times because, you know, if I just break this device, then I'll be wasting my money on this device. But I want to make you guys happy, so I'll just do this for you. So I'll just take that out. Make sure you do not lose any screws. If you lose any screws, your life becomes a nightmare. Sometimes my BlackBerry 8520, I lose, I lose, I lost some screws once, and yeah, my life became a nightmare really. Um, thing I've got, yeah, I have to unscrew these ones on top. It's really a general thing I have to do really for the housings, but you have to be used to it so you can assemble everything the right way together, back together. So I have to use, so just remove that. Put that to the side, and then I'm going to just like defracture the whole housing. Now, now, if I just show you, this is the used housing, and this is my actual device. So this is my actual like motherboard. I could sell. Uh, I could see. Uh, and what I want to do is I want to like unwrap my, my my real housing. So this is my real thing. Um, the real, actually new, genuine, whatever you want to call it, housing. And you just want to check what it has. Okay, you want to check if it has all the parts. You want to check if it has everything. So you you know that there's a battery cover, so that's fine. So I don't know how I'm going to... Let me move that a bit. Uh, I'm just like disassemble everything, so I need to take that apart. Today. I? God, it's a nightmare. Let's take everything apart um, from the new housing. And this is the new... No, this is a new one. Okay, and this is the odd one. You see both of them look the same. But obviously when you want to it's more you're more better and more newer to be honest with you. But yeah. So now I'm gonna assemble these. Now I'm gonna this is, I was so I, I hope you enjoyed the disassembly of this product. Now I'm gonna assemble it. Now the first thing I have to do is when you get the new thing, like what am I gonna do next? What am I gonna do? Oh my god, I'm panicking. Do not panic. Panic panicking is not the solution. You wanna get your motherboard. Uh, you just want to put it on there like that, like a lot of pancake, okay? Like that, just like that, lovely. Then a lovely sits in there, and you want to basically put all the screws back on, okay? So you want to do this, for to show you guys. Uh, where is it? Don't tell me I lost it, because if I did, then I'll cover myself. Yep, you want to put the, oh, I think the screw came out. Yeah, the screw came out, but don't worry about that, can still find it. The screw came out, but... You have to put this on the top of the actual housing. Okay, don't know if you can see that, but yeah, it's this. You need to place it on top there, and you have to like screw it, screw it in there. And the bottom part is here. You want to put it underneath. You want to tuck it underneath there. So and so just just do that, and just move on, and just yeah. Just you want to pause it. You might want to pause the video as well, and just like do it, and then want, and then click play again. So yeah. Which I'm going to do now. So once you've actually done that, you want to now like place the middle chasis, uh, chasis, chasis, yeah, whatever it's called. Um, I don't even know which one's new now. Um, I think. Yeah, this one's new. You place that on there now, um, and you would like, and you want to put your keyboard on the thing and on the housing like that. And you just want to stick it on there, and you want to put the chasis um, above it, and you want to like put the screen as well, but you have to do it in order, so if you don't, if you don't remember what order it is, just please pause the video and rewind it. Once you've done that, you want to basically put everything back together, which I've done, and you want to screw everything back together again, as normal. So once you put all the bits and pieces together, this is your end product. Uh, so you get this kind of cool thing here, where it's like your end product, and you can like basically do what you want. See, it looks very nice, there's actually no visible scratches on it. No, no dust particles, tucked into such a All brand new. Thank you for watching, guys. Subscribe.